<sighs> so cold. <sighs> Don't sneeze, Raz. He'll give us away. <sighs> Phew. Close one. Either the enemy finds us or we cause an avalanche. Either option sounds great. Uh, man, this sucks. Head's getting all foggy. Don't tell me you've got a fever now. What? Are you invincible to everything but the common cold? Uh, damn it. Too tired for a comeback. I'll think of one later. Man, I hate watch duty. All this standing around cramps my style. I'd rather be scouting. I know what you mean. If I stay here much longer, they'll have to chisel me out of this position. Then again, her mouths are the only things we can move. Well, got any good stories? Stories, huh? Well, if you want to hear about Claude screwing up in training, I got a million of them. That's tempting. But you know what I really want to hear? Kai's story. Oh, well this one time, Miles accidentally ate Kai's rations and then... Raz, don't play dumb. I... I want to know how Lena became Kai. Everyone just goes along with it, so I've never asked. But all things considered, is there really any point in keeping it a secret anymore? Or are you not allowed to tell an outsider like me? Nah, it's not like that. You're a member of Squad E through and through. And since you're one of us, you deserve to know what happened with Kai. So fine, I'll tell you. It was right before we got sent out into the field. <laughs> Almost a year ago now, 1934, winter I think, a couple months after we got assigned to the Ranger Corps. What's the hold up, Miles? Your time's ten minutes slower than yesterday's run. Of course it is. We only ran in light gear before today. Now they're making us carry the heavy stuff. Ten kilometers at a full run? Through a mountain trail? The sergeant's trying to kill us. I'm not gonna make it. Come on, man. Nobody's gonna keel over dead by jogging through a scenic nature trail. We already went through hell to get in the ranger course. But we only survived that thanks to Claude and Kai. The ranger course is gonna be harder than anything we've faced before. Can't you ease up a little? What, you want sympathy? I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm a real hard ass when it comes to training. Sorry, Miles. It's not easy keeping track of everything all by myself. No shit you're by yourself. Last I checked, this squad's only got one commander. You. Oh, right. I know. I've been relying on Kai too much. Well, he's gonna be gone for a while. You gotta keep it together, man. Yeah, but where'd our bro even go? Wait a second. He wasn't sapped up by some other squad, was he? No way! I heard Command put him on a secret mission. I wouldn't pry too deep into that. Even I don't know exactly what he's up to. Still, getting handpicked by the brass for special forces. No wonder. I mean, he's a non-commissioned officer who can kick ass and take names. Could be he's working personal detail for the higher-ups. Or maybe delivering classified intel. He's been gone two weeks now. What's he doing out there? Special forces. So cool. He'd better tell us all about his adventures when he gets back. Well, well. I thought I was training soldiers. But looks like I got a bunch of chatty goddamn Cathy's instead. Ah, oh, crap. 10K just wasn't enough, huh? One more lap, all of you, get moving. Sir, yes, sir. Several days later, Kai finally came back. 
Claude and I were on standby from watch duty. Hmm? Who's there? It's me. <laughs> what the... Kai? Claude, Raz, good. Looks like watch duty's on schedule. I need to tell you something. Just keep quiet for now and listen. Kai, your leg! You're hurt! It is what it is. I just... screwed up on my last mission. Wait, you... what happened? You're Kai, you... you don't just screw up. We can talk later. You need a medic. No time. Right now, I need you to listen. I'm leaving the military. I've got no other choice. What? What the hell are you talking about? You signed up before any of us did! Kai, this squad needs you. And deserting is a serious crime. You of all people should know that. Oh, I do. But I don't plan on deserting. Huh? Squad E's training will be over soon. When that happens, then you'll be assigned for deployment. New station, new superiors. And that new drill sergeant. You've only been with him a week. He doesn't know my face, right? Well, I mean... Yeah, I guess so. So I'm sending in a double. As far as you're concerned, Kai Shulin is someone else. They'll be taking my place for training and beyond. Oh. You? What the hell are you thinking? I can't allow this just as your friend, but as commander of this squad. Swapping in a body double? Why can't you just go through the process? You can get a discharge. I can't. I can't, damn it. Not anymore. Not like this. Kai? Please. You two are the only ones I can turn to. How long have we known each other, man? This is the first time you've asked us to do anything. Just tell me one thing. We can trust you on this, right? No. Justice shall be served. That's what I swore to you and the rest of our friends. I will never betray that. Hmm. Fine. Brass! We can't do this! It's against the... I'm a soldier too, man, I know. But our best friend for life is begging us here. I got a code that's way more important than army ranks. <laughs> Claude, please. If this goes south, all the guilt is gonna fall on your replacement's head. Even then, are you sure? Yes, I'm well aware. But I've realized, just beating the Imperial Alliance won't change a thing. I need to put an end to this war, once and for all. That's why I have to go. <clears throat> Fine. <sighs> That's all I had to say. It's almost time for the shift changes. Go. But you're hurt! I'll be fine. If you two don't show up on time, you'll only draw attention. Go. Now. <sighs> Come on, Claude. We gotta move. Don't die out there, Kai. So, wait, Kai's replacement is... <sighs> you? But how are you supposed to... I mean, you're a girl! How is his sister supposed to play his double? <sighs> Come on, Kai. There's no way this is gonna work. My brother already told me what to do. He also said you two could make it work somehow. Look, uh, Lena. You know what you're getting into, right? If your cover's blown, you'll be court-martialed, and... Lena who? My name is Kai. Yeah, sure, great. Yeah, that's fine. But it doesn't change the fact that you're... I mean, you're obviously... Is there some kind of problem? Uh... No. 
Claude, is everything okay? Hmm? Who's this? It's Kai. Huh? So, uh... Who is this girl? You heard her. On this day forth, she's Kai Shulin. I can't believe you agreed to this, Claude! A body double? If an officer finds out about it... Well, uh... Yes, you're right to be concerned, but... Maybe we should back out now and pretend it never happened. Before things get messy. But this is what Kai wanted, so... Why would Kai put you up to a crazy stunt like this? Uh... Good question. Uh, Raz? You don't explain? What? Throwing me under the tank? You son of a... Out with it, Raz. I'd hate to have to report this to our superiors before you can explain yourself. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. Now there's a very good explanation for all of this, I swear. Really? And what might that be? Well, uh, you see, it's... This is, uh, Lena Shulin's dream. Yep, ever since she was little, she wanted to join the Ranger Corps. When she was a kid, she'd always go on and on about being a ranger, keeping the peace, saving the homeland. She may be small, but she's been working her ass off for this since she was a kid. Is that true? Mm. But her parents were totally against it. Didn't want their precious daughter living the soldier's life, see? So, that's why her brother enlisted in her place. I mean, once you're in the military, your ma and pa can't do a damn thing about it, get it? This was their plan all along. They were just biding their time until the right moment for a big switcheroo. <laughs> Hot damn, that's one hell of a gambit. I always figured Kai had no sense of humor, but <laughs> if this is his idea of a joke, it's a darn good one. That aside, this is a clear violation of military code. Even if it's for Kai, we're playing a dangerous game. <sighs> I don't know if this is going to work, Claude. No, it'll be fine. Just leave it to me. I'm not gonna deny it. This plan is insane. But we're Squad E. Doing the impossible is our job, right? That's precisely why Kai trusted us with his sister. He knew we could pull this off. There is no way this will work. I mean, they're not even the same gender. How are we supposed to... No worries there. I mean, she may be a woman, but it's not like she's girly. Hell, she's more butch than most guys here. Just think of her as a guy with some glandular shit that looks like TNA. Oh, what? You gonna hit me now? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> well, you weren't wrong. I'm more man than a boy like you. Oh, goodness. But Raz is one of the best at CQC in the whole unit. She dropped him in one hit. <laughs> That, uh, that proves it. If we want to get through the Ranger course, we need Kai on our side. We don't have to worry. Now that the test is over, our superiors won't pay much attention to personnel. If we make it through training, we can pull this off. I know we can. So, please, I want everyone working together on this. Come on, Kai. <clears throat> please. I need your help. Well, after seeing what she's capable of. Mm hmm I think it'll be a ball having you around. We'd be happy to have you. My thoughts exactly. She's got guts, and that's what counts. <laughs> You're one of us now. <laughs> Let's do our best together. I wasn't expecting homework after the ranger test. This could be a delicate operation. Maybe, but we're squatty. 
We'll make it happen. Thank you. All of you. Okay. Might just pull this off after all. Uh, I'm glad things worked out. And so, Lena became Kai of Squad E. And you can probably imagine what happened. It was just one thing after another. Come on, maggot! Keep that ass up! Ah! Huh? What was that? Sounded like a girl. No! It's a snake. Jeez, calm down. It's just a coil of rope. Oh, how silly of me. You again. I said no chit-chat during training. Believe me, we had some close calls. <sighs> Kai Shulin, your time on the short distance sprint's gotten better. Huh? Whoa! What the? Private, your chest is bulging. Wait a minute. Shulin, are you? Uh, crap. Th this is bad. I'll handle this. Oh, uh, sorry about that, but we had to teach him a lesson. Uh, lesson? Yeah! Kai barged into the woman's showers yesterday. Can you believe him? So we had to punish him. If he likes girls' underwear so much, he's gotta wear them during training. How do you like that, Kai? No more accidents, huh? Uh-huh. The women's showers! Private, I have never been more envy... Uh, <clears throat> more shocked and appalled! All right, maggots! Kai's mistakes are your mistakes! You all get another 50 laps! What?! The problems just kept coming like that. Another day, another cover-up. Thanks to everyone's help, and Kai's sheer willpower, we somehow made it through. But then, at the very end of the ranger course, during marksmanship training... Today it's target practice, Privates! We'll be using live ammo for this one! Whew! Looks like it's my time. Kai Shulin! What? Sir, yes sir! Word is you're the best shot in this squad! You sure don't look it. Mm. Oh man, we're boned. Yeah, Kai was our best marksman. If she screws this up, they're gonna know something's off. Damn it, what do we do? Hey, maggot! You got something to share with the class? Sir, no sir! Sergeant, we have a suggestion for today's training. Hmm? Yo, Claude, just so we're straight, you're sure this is gonna work, right?
like we got a choice at this point. Let's go kick some ass! We can't let them blow our cover. Kai, Raz, I'm counting on you. Let's begin! Training starts now! Raz, are you ready? Yeah, locked and loaded. All right, remember the plan? Shoot down the targets and make it look like they're Lena's shots. The instructors are keeping a close watch on the place. We have to make sure we aren't discovered. If they get too close, duck into the bushes and take cover. Roger that. Advancing. So, Claude, just hypothetically, hitting one of the instructors would be a bad idea, right? Do you really need me to answer that? Hey, I'm just checking. More importantly, is Lena gonna be okay? She's gotta match our timing perfectly. I don't think we'll have to worry about that. Even when we were little, Lena was always quick on the uptake. That's probably why Kai trusted her to do this. He knew she could handle anything they throw her way. Kai, guess it runs in the family, huh? Yeah. Got this. Huh? Hey, you! What are you doing? Crap, we're had. Claude, run for it! It's too late, Raz. This is the end of the line. Looks like it was an impossible plan after all. Shot. 
damn it. Forgot to put away the Ragnite boxes. Who's there? Just a cat. I don't know. It feels like someone's out there. Unusual figure for a man. So, Claude, do you? More importantly, I don't think we'll. It's probably. Confirmed. And of course you can hit that one, huh? Hmm. Whew. I can't believe that worked. Oh, this, this is way more nerve-wracking than I thought it'd be. I almost had a heart attack there. Your own damn fault. attack. Kai Shulin, huh? I've heard he's a good shot. Who's there? Just a cat. That's an unusual figure for a man. this this Yeah. <laughs> 
for training, so the explosives shouldn't be that strong. Probably. Y yeah, well, you're the boss. Hey, did you hear something? Did you hear something? I could have sworn. There they are. I don't know. It feels like someone's out there. Timing and everything. Raz, keep it down. Oh, sorry. Just got a little carried away. Well, I know how you feel. The pressure's getting to me, too. In any case, this next target is the last. Let's end this. No room for mistakes. Claude, calm down. You're freaking me out. Got this. Kai Shulin, huh? I've heard he's a good shot. Huh. Let's see 
how good a shot you... Here comes the pain! I've got this! Commencing attack. <laughs> Let's see how good a shot you are. Did you hear something? I could have. Damn it, he's staring right at us. Get moving, you idiot. Doesn't look like he's gonna move anytime soon. You can have a clear view of us from that vantage. All right, let's ignite those explosives. Man, you sure about this? Look at where it's placed. The tree ought to shield him from the explosion. And if we're lucky, the tree might fall over and give us some cover. Yeah, I guess. Well, it's worth a shot. I can do this! I can do this! Ah! Wow! I... Private, that was one hell of a display! You might just be a decent marksman after all! Nah, hell with it. Kai, that was downright incredible. <sighs> oh, it's finally over. Man, I'm beat. Yeah, me too. But we can't let our guard down yet. We have to hurry and get back. Come on, we should go now, while the instructor's distracted. Right, if we blow our cover now, it's not gonna be pretty. Yeah, definitely not. <sighs> Somehow, we pulled it off. God, that was even more stressful than the actual ranger course. I think my hair's falling out. Hmm. Lin... I mean, Kai. Uh, something wrong? No, not really. It's just a little strange. I don't think I've ever missed that many times with a rifle before. Huh? Wait. You've used a rifle before? Well, yeah. Around the time you all enlisted, I joined Hoffenstown Watch. 
I was their sniper, so I thought I was a better shot than this. I guess the old second handguns handle pretty differently from Federation rifles. Wait, what? First I've heard of it. If you've used a rifle before, you should have at least hit one. Wait, let me see that. I don't think these sights are set right. Hmm? What the? You're right. These sights are totally off. R really? If anything, it's impressive that you got that close with an inaccurate scope. Wait, then... Here, set it right and try again. Sure. What? How is she that good? Bullseye. Everyone. She might even be a better shot than Kai. Huh. This gun's a lot easier to use than the Watch's rifles. This scope thing's pretty handy. Kai, you're... You're even better than your brother! <laughs> I'm Kai. I don't have a brother. Just a sister. Everyone, I want to thank you. You've done so much for me. I swear to you all that I'll return the favor with my skills. So I hope we can all work together. This is what you wanted, right, Kai? And that's it. Since then, Lena's been Kai. She even earned that nickname. Dead-Eye Kai, they call her. <laughs> oh, come on! Not even a golf clap? I just gave away our biggest secret with a story and everything. But there are still some things you haven't answered. Kai, the real one, I mean. Where did he go after that? What was this secret mission that Command put him on? Wasn't he hurt? Is he ever coming back? Uh, sorry, but I don't have those answers. No one's heard a peep from him since Lena showed up. So for all we know, he could be dead. Huh, <laughs> please. There's no way he'd die that easy. Didn't you try searching for him? It's ludicrous! You have no idea where he even is! Hey, he asked me a favor and I said yes. That's all. Beyond that is none of my business. I just trust his decisions. He's not the kind of guy to make the wrong choice. That's... idiotic! Maybe, but that's how we do. We trust each other. So parading his sister around as a man and dragging her into combat is your thing? Well, don't worry about that. He asked us to look after her. So I'm gonna protect her. Whatever it takes. Jeez. That's the most idiotic part of all of this. How do you expect to constantly guard her on a battlefield? Hmm? Oh, looks like Claude and the others are back. <sighs> Finally, I can go back to my tent. Hey, just so we're clear, you mind not telling Kai we talked about all this? Why not? I mean, she's got it hard enough as it is. I don't want to go reminding her about her brother. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. Those two were really close after all. I hope we can all be together again someday. Maybe back in Hafen, once things are peaceful. That'd be nice. Back when we were kids, we had to say goodbye once curfew hit. But now we can drink all night, and I got loads of stuff to talk about with you guys. Like I'd stay up all night listening to your drunken rambling. Come on, we should head back before we freeze to death. There's no place like home. Home sweet home? You mean that tent buried in the snow? Well, at least it's out of the wind. Yeah, let's go.
Chapter 8, The Crystal Sea. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. You don't know me. I'm your new Prince Charming, Leonhard Strauch. Got it memorized? Yasha a lot. Now, if you'd like to review the principles of ballistic trajectory, I can go over the formula. Only the coldest winters gave rise to the Crystal Sea, a floating field dotted with countless icebergs. Normally an inland sea, the bitter cold made it a frozen wasteland, impassable by ships. At these times, nature itself protected the imperial capital, snow on the land and icebergs in the water. However, this winter brought an unusual sight, three Federation battleships charging through that frigid expanse. Snow cruisers. These were the Federation's secret weapons, built to pass the impassable and tame the Crystal Sea. Those snow cruisers hadn't shown up when they did, the entire Ranger Corps would have died on that coast. As it stood, we'd already lost over half our troops by the time they arrived. After boarding, we reorganized the survivors. Each company went to a different ship. Squad E's company was assigned to the Operation's number two vessel, the Centurion. We're finally in a place where we can leave the cold, the hunger, and the marching behind. It's almost too good to be true. Straight out of hell, and into something like heaven. But, it's not a heaven that comes with a sky. Riley, how's Minerva holding up? She won't touch her food. It seemed to take all her effort just to respond to me. I see. Well, I can't blame her. She's one of the few survivors of Squad F. And they... They might not have died if... If Squad E had been quicker. But if Minerva stays like this... Yeah. Time heals all wounds, but we don't have that luxury. Ah, damn it, there goes my soup! Are you okay? That was a big one. Ugh, I've had enough of this crap. I can't keep my appetite with all this damn shaking. And the boat creaks, I can't even sleep. <laughs> Oh, Princess. Can't get his beauty rest going over a little ice reef. You army boys are all the same. Oh, yeah? Well, we ain't a bunch of chumps on a boat, that's for sure. <laughs> and whose boat do you think you're on? Oh, we can help you get some sleep, Hotshot. No more scary ice. You might not even wake up. Oh, you think you're hot shit? Fine, come get it! <laughs> Coming in with a big wind-up like that? I'll show you how to throw a friggin' punch! Shouldn't we stop them? They can let off some steam. Idiots of the land versus idiots of the sea. Come on! Hey, Kai. Isn't this getting a little out of hand? Uh, that's 
the thing about idiots. They never learn unless you make them learn. What the hell? Hey, Riley! You can't just grenade us! Holy! Retreat! Retreat! Whoa! Riley, was that alive? Custom grenade, full of chili powder, pepper, and powdered mustard. Let's go, Kai. We can have some tea on the deck, where it's quieter. Stop this. 